and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Human Again. Today, I'm going to go over what you should be doing with your coins during the Super Bowl promo. Now, one of this video is your typical works now, precautionary for later. Now, if you guys know what I mean by that, it means like, I want to tell you guys this advice now before this stuff does come out and then it comes out and I'm not there because my videos are always bracketed. You know, I post my content in the morning, my advice is usually later in the day. So I feel like when the stuff comes out, you'll understand what I'm saying as I go through this video. But as you guys know, Super Bowl promo is out to come out yesterday morning and it is a promo that's going to be bracketed. So it's going to be three different parts which is why I'm giving you guys this now. I'm going to tell you guys my advice for part one and then kind of what I advise you for part two and three for the most part as things do progress and keep coming out now. I'm giving this to you now so you guys are ready for when stuff comes out you already have the advice you don't gotta wait for it you guys understand what i'm saying now guys you should be seeing this video probably around like 4 35 o'clock um usual schedule hopefully you guys check this out later and then we're gonna go check out the 10 30 video because we do have the career tribute all the new legends so definitely go make sure to check that out some really good content has been dropped the last few days gotta give it to ea on that one i didn't really enjoy the legends today now before we get into the video guys make sure you go below hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell come join the family we hit 18k, let's keep grinding out. Next big milestone is 20k. Comment down below what you think of the new content drops and kind of what you're doing with your coins right now. As well as, smash that like button. Can we get 500 likes in this video? You guys have been going crazy with the like button. Note again, go strong as per usual. Say what's up and spam the like button. Now, first things first, guys, as the new content did drop, what I recommend picking these guys up. What to do with your coins, guys, is pretty much just, it's, just, it's like a coin content video. Like, I just talk about coins, what's good, like, kind of like just covering the topics that you're probably wondering, right? So Aaron Rodgers, going for a close to 650k. Is he worth it? No. Plain and simple, 650k not worth it. For all you guys wondering, if you have a Packers team team, you're an Aaron Rodgers fan. Go ahead, it's a video game, right? You can't be that serious all the time. But if you're a serious guy, for like you know, really just looking for the best player, no. His accuracy is good, not great. His speed is decent, not good. His throw under pressure is bad. I mean, like, he's not, he's not the best card. Just flat out, flat out. I'd rather have the Steve Young, the Russell Wilson, the eventual Mahomes are going to get, and the eventual MVP Lamar are going to get. Or even whatever else comes out. You guys get the point? Aaron Rodgers is super cool. Always has a quick release, though. So you, you have to take that into, um, into uh, account, too, as well. Do I think he's worth it? Not at that price. That's the, that's the other thing, right? If he was, like, 300 k by all means, go ahead. Get what quarterback you want. But you're paying a premium. You're paying more than Russell Wilson. I think Russell Wilson's faster, more accurate. A higher overall you know it's just kind of everything that comes with it next is von miller another guy you're paying a premium for right now definitely super super expensive for a guy that's really not worth at that price 700k just about not worth it see khalil mac is the same card so whichever one's cheaper is the one you want i'd recommend again von miller 400k 300k by all means buy it even 450 this rate not right now don't recommend now let's hop into the super bowl stuff and eli manning obviously he's ltd he's never going to be worth it because he's not mobile the eli card was amazing probably the best one of the probably the best passer in madden right now as far as a pure passer, standing in the pocket, that's it. But he doesn't get dash and dead eye. He can't run. He doesn't have escape artists. So a lot of limitations. You know, like this year it's been like, do we want a dash and dead eye quarterback or an escape artist quarterback? Eli hasn't either. So it's kind of it's kind of tough. Would I recommend picking them up? No. Although if you're a Giants fan or you're gonna make a Giants team team, obviously you have to take my quarterback. So as far as Super Bowl comes, remember it is the only the first part is dropped. Super Bowl passed. We still have a Super Bowl present and the third eventual part of this program that we don't really know what it is. Maybe it's post Super Bowl content, like after the Super Bowl winner happens, we get like some winter Super Bowl content. I don't know if that's the third part they're referring to. Not entirely sure. Or maybe the Blitz. Maybe it's the Blitz. That's possible. They said it's a, a three parter. We don't know. We have to find out. But as you guys know, there's more parts coming now. As far as what you should do with your coins going the first part, I don't think you do much. Besides doing this set and working it to get to your advantage, I don't think the set's, oh, I don't think, not the set, the set's worth it. That's about it. But I don't think you individually get these guys. I think if you're gonna get any of these guys, you have to do the set, right? If you go watch my video, I posted yesterday, you'll see it. It is my five o'clock video from yesterday. Watch that if you're wondering what I'm saying. If you want, if you just want Sunny Michelle, do the set. I don't think you buy any of these guys individually. Personally, if you don't want to do the set, right? You just want to pick up guys. I don't think you buy Clay Matthews. He's not worth it. Unless you, unless you guys theme teams, I understand if you're a theme team, it makes sense. But by itself, don't think he's worth it. Adam Timman by himself, you're probably better off with one of the other right guards, like this uh, Team of the Year NFL Honors, NFL 100. I'm sorry. Or Sonny Michelle, obviously, unless you're a Pat's theme team, Pat's team team where you're doing the set, not worth the 91 speed. It just simply isn't. So, in my opinion, I don't think you really touch the first part of the Super Bowl. If you're going to do the set, that's fine. I agree with that. But the only player I maybe touch by himself is Steve Young. 
But again, the set just it makes it more economic to the set, so make sure you get that done. Steve Young is the only player so far from this whole Super Bowl promo that I think is worth touching, and at the same time, I don't even think I'd take him because I'd much rather just wait for the next quarterbacks to come out. Or, or you can have, you already have or, or, or Russell Wilson, right? Russell Wilson's already out. Now, Steve Young's amazing. Right now, he's probably the best quarterback. My only concern is this week, like specifically this week, I'm telling you guys, Lamar comes out when he gets an MVP card. I'm waiting for that card. I've rocked with Lamar. I've had him powered up all year. So for me, it makes sense. Maybe for you guys, if you like Steve Young, you've had Steve Young powered up, by all means go. Steve Young's right there. Like I said, end game quarterbacks this year are going to be Steve Young, Michael Vick, Pat Mahomes, and Lamar Jackson. They're probably the four best quarterbacks all year. Unless the A drops some banger crazy content that I don't expect. Don't think they will. Even in an end game Aaron Rodgers, maybe, but they haven't really been they've really been too uh too fun with Aaron Rodgers this year. We haven't really had many uses for him. But besides the point, I would recommend Super Bowl Super Bowl promo part two. I'm gonna be going heavy with coins probably on that. If they drop Mahomes or Tyree Kill, I'm in, right? Everyone wants Tyree Kill. Mahomes Tyree Kill alone will get me. A Raheem Mustard might be really, really good. A Richard Sherman. This one Richard Sherman gets good. See, Richard Sherman throughout the year is always behind in speed, right? Always behind. Always the issue with Sherman. But this next card will probably have like a 93 speed, which means you could power up, chem up, and everything, probably get him to like a 96, which then makes him one of the greatest cornerbacks in the game because he'll be up there for one of the top tier speeds because people are already getting to their, their max speeds and he's going to be catching up. But he's, this is kind of the year where he starts getting real good. He's going to have the 99 zone, 99 man, probably going to have 99 press, going to be 6 foot 3, probably 99 jumping. He's going to be crazy. Everything's going to be 99. And you're going to give him good speed too. Gonna start getting good. So Rich Sherman could be sneaky good. A lot of good things to be coming out. So that's what I recommend putting coins into. I'm really not touching the first set. I'm touching like we're at a point, guys. Personally, we're getting to that point where cards can become end game, which is what I've been waiting for, guys. I've been telling you this. Playoff promo, no. Team of the year, sort of. Super Bowl promo. They're gonna drop some 97s, some 96s. They're gonna drop some pretty good cards. You can get a 90 if you get a 97 overall, right? And you power him up. He's a 98. You came up, he's a 99. 99 overall card, that's it. You can rock with him for the whole year. So this is when I like to buy cards like that because I don't I currently don't get enough coins. Like I don't I don't buy enough packs and stuff to really maintain a coin count where I can just buy cards as I free I, I you know like as I freely want. So for me, Super Bowl promo when they the 96 Steve Young is almost there. Russell Wilson was there, but I think there's gonna be better quarterbacks than like Lamar, 98 overall, powered up, 99. Done. Done for the year. That could be my quarterback. I won't probably change it. That's kind of my outlook on it. So the second part of the Super Bowl promo, like the Super Bowl MVP, kind of probably be one of the end game cards. The only time it was really bad was when we got an Edelman or uh, Tom Brady. Other than that, I'm feeling pretty solid with it for the most part. But I just don't think that the first part is end game yet. I think the second part's gonna be nice, and the third part, whatever the third part is. Second part though, for a Super Bowl present, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a master now. Will they keep the masters at 95s? As you guys see, they do progressively do masters, but it really depends. Like in the NFL playoffs, the masters stay the same because there's only a one parter. In a zero chill, when it was a two parter, we got, let's see, Ghost of Madden. You can see that it progressively went up. It went 94, 95, 96. But remember, this was also because it was Super Bowl past, present, future. So you kind of have to like bracket that. Will they, maybe they'll do another 96. I hope they do another Super Bowl. I hope they do for the present at 97. It would make more sense if they work it up. If they do do that, guys. The present master could be Endgame. Present master could be Mahomes, but there's an issue with that. This is where it gets weird, right? See, I. I want Mahomes, but the thing is that they don't want to do it because they know if they give us Mahomes out of the sets, and then he wins Super Bowl MVP, now we have back-to-back -back Mahomes. So I gotta kinda you gotta be careful what they do here. But then if they don't give Mahomes a card and then he doesn't get MVP, where do they slot him in? So it becomes kind of weird. But that's what I'm saving my coins for, guys. What I recommend you guys do is I said Lamar and Mahomes. You want one of those two. You're gonna get either one coming out. Lamar Mahomes or or even Vic, you can still stick with. But I think Lamar Mahomes or Young. Those are the three best right now. Those are the ones you're gonna wait for. And then as far as the rest of your team goes, you can probably build a lot of your team off Super Bowl and Team of the Year. Team of the Year prices are going down, like I told you guys. Team of the Year cards are endgame, some of them are. Zane Gonzalez, endgame kicker. You guys want to pick up your kicker? I'm telling you, it's pretty pretty, pretty useful to have a kicker with a 97 kick pal. He went from 348, 350, he's at like... No, I forgot who he was at. Maybe he's at 300k? And now he's down like the mid 200s. I'm telling you guys, highly recommend. This is the time to pick up some of the Team of the Year cards that you think are endgame. Like Aaron Donald, like I said. As they come down in price, let the next part of the Super Bowl drop and then go back and pick up those cards. And you, you have to power them up, right? I recommend you power them up because then they're in game, right? That's, that's kind of the big part of how you can increase them. Last year, I think I think last year my team was composed of Team of the Year, Super Bowl, NFL Honors, and then Ultimate Legends. That's kind of how I always finish my teams out. Super Bowl, NFL Honors, a little bit of Team of the Year, and Ultimate Legends. 
So uh, I think it's finally safe. You can start buying some stuff. You can you can really just be with it for the whole year. But you gotta make sure the stats make sense, right? Obviously, with content guys, I always keep you up to date on which cards I think are worthwhile, which are long term. Team of the year for me, my own team, I think Aaron Donald, George Kittle line game, and Zane Gonzalez and Treyway. Those are the four like I really want from that promo. As far as Super Bowl goes, I'm hoping for Mahomes, a Tyree Kill, uh, Mitchell Schwartz, a Sherman. Those guys all in game right there. And then as far as the third part, it could be a blitz. We don't know what the third part could be. There's only a past and present. I don't think we're going to do super future bull predictions. Really up to you guys there on what you guys do there. But that is my best recommendations for coins. Hopefully this helps you guys out. When the Super Bowl's promo part two drops, watch my 1030 content video. I'll go over what I like, what I don't like. And from there, you can go on what you're going to buy. That's been it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 500 likes? You guys have been going crazy with the like button. Keep it going. And if you're new, make sure to come join the family. We're going to 20K. It's the next big milestone. Can't wait to frame that one up on the wall and then keep growing. And, you know, hopefully one day 100K. Let's keep it going. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.